Snail Sam and His Dream by Liza Burda. Note, all characters in this story are fictional. Any resemblance to real people or snails is coincidence. Somewhere in the world lived a little snail. His name was Sam. He was smart, funny, and always had a lot of questions in his head. But one day, after the rain, the people trampled many snails, and Sam had only one question. Why do people not like snails? Little Snail Sam could not answer this question, so he crawled to Uncle Bob, the wisest of all snails. Uncle Bob, the wisest of all snails. They just can't see us because we are tiny. But Uncle Bob, interrupted Snail Sam, and immediately realised that he was being impolite. Yes, Sam, I know you think that in the world there is someone who is much bigger and stronger than people. Let me tell you one secret. There are some giant planets that are much bigger than the Earth. It seems to me that from these planets people look even smaller than us. I think even smaller than ants. Unbelievable, exclaimed Sam. I don't wish ill to people now. And what else are you worrying about, dear Sam? You look very sad today. And little Sam told his story. Yesterday was a sunny summer day, and when I was crawling on the grass, a girl pointed a finger at me. Then she called me a slug. Fortunately, I hid in my shell house because she was about to step on me. Uncle Bob listened to Sam's sad story and replied, Look, boy, if snails could talk to people, they could tell them about the places they've seen. But none of us snails can talk. That's why people think that we are nasty and uninteresting. And so passed the summer, and then autumn came. Uncle Bob went away to the nearby town for a while. Sam didn't have a hope of meeting a good and kind human. He always believed that autumn is the time when everything changes. Leaves are painted in different colours. The sun sets earlier, and maybe people become kinder. Since Uncle Bob went to the town called High Grass, Snail Sam felt lonely. So he decided to visit his aunt Caterpillar. She lived far, far away, in a small house on a tree. She was one of those caterpillars who had a cute appearance and a sweet smell in her house. Hello, auntie, said Sam. I haven't seen you for a long time. Oh yes, my dear. It's been forever since the last time I saw you, and even more. Aunt Caterpillar replied, smiling. When Sam sat at the table, he began to become tired after his journey and a little hungry. Aunt Caterpillar immediately noticed that and offered Sam a salad of clover and dandelions. As they talked, Sam asked his aunt what she thought about people. I don't know, she said wistfully. My daughter, who has recently become a butterfly, says that every person is different. Some are good and cheerful, but some are angry and gloomy but many of them are amazed by the beauty of butterflies. Yeah, butterflies are really wonderful, whispered Sam, and his words slowly faded out in the air. When Sam visited Aunt Caterpillar, everything became easier and more fun for him. Furthermore, Sam's friend Vincent came back. In the summer, he was resting with his family at the sea. Vincent's parents were happy that there were very few rainy days and a lot of sunny ones. When Vincent saw Sam, he immediately offered to go for a walk with him. He really missed native places all summer. The wonderful scent of flowers and herbs was flying through the air and even the birds were singing in a special way. Vincent suggested, let's go for a walk and on the way we can go to our favorite cafe, Slippery Trail. While Sam and Vincent were crawling to the cafe, they noticed two girls. They were walking along the road, and to everybody's surprise, they saw the little snails as well. When the girls began to approach, Sam and Vincent became very scared. 
but then one of the girls exclaimed, Oh, Sarah, look at these cute snails. When I was a little girl, I often saw them near my granny's country house. It seems to me that I always liked snails, but other people didn't. I also like snails. Jane, what do you think? Is it warm and cosy inside their houses? I don't think so, said the other girl softly. Indeed, no one has invented heaters for snails yet. But it would be very useful if people could do something necessary for them. For example, someone could sew them warm sweaters from old and unneeded socks. After listening to the conversation between the two girls, Sam realised that people who like snails do exist. He felt love and respect for these girls. Sam was sure that Vincent felt the same way. The two girlfriends waved goodbye to Vincent and Sam and said they hoped to see them again. The happy friends looked at each other and immediately understood each other. They would not crawl to their favourite cafe. Instead, they would hurry to tell all their neighbours, Uncle Sam, Aunt Caterpillar and others about these amazing girls who really liked snails. Snail Sam's dream finally came true. Tips for those who want to make friends with snails from Snail Entertainment magazine. Snails can move quickly if you buy small cars and a small petrol station for them. In order for snails to brush their teeth, put a tube of toothpaste in the grass. This is enough for the whole village of sticky friends. To make the life of snails more fun, build a small Disney land for them. In order for snails to listen to music, give them your old radio.